Hey guys, NerdKing101 here, and today we are going to be talking about My Hero Academia. My Hero Academia Season 3 has been a huge hit, and I think it is a really good season. However, I want to sit down and talk about the newest arc of Season 3, the Hero License Exam arc. Since I'm in the process of catching up to the My Hero Academia manga at the moment, this video will contain spoilers. Now that you've been warned, I can begin. So I'm going to be completely honest with you guys, I do not like the hero like this exam mark. I did not like it in the manga. In fact, I'm going to be completely honest, I am currently on chapter 146 in the overhaul arc, and I'm going to be honest, the hero like this exam mark is by far my least favorite part of the entire show. Now I don't think the hero like this exam mark is actually bad. I've seen bad anime, and I've seen bad storytelling, and bad stories in different mediums. And honestly, this isn't that bad. It's well put together, it has interesting new characters, it, it develops the world of My Hero Academia by introducing all the different schools. We get to see some of Deku's new fighting style. I like the idea that even though Bakudo and Toradoki are the strongest students, Due to personal struggles they had and personal obstacles they need to overcome, they still fail the test. I think that's very different from what you would typically see in Jonin, where the strongest guy is always win. It's interesting to see Bakugo fail not because he was weak or he wasn't strong enough. Far from it, he was definitely strong enough. He was one of the strongest people there. However, his inability to properly help people during the rescue portion and properly calm them down and be considerate and helpful. And I also think it helps set up future stuff. Like, it's interesting to see Bakudo and Toradoki later on have to deal with the fact that they failed while everybody else passed the test. So, yes, on a technical level, I don't think there's anything wrong with this arc, really. No, I think the problem I have with the hero license exam arc is more the problem I have with a lot of the school-based arcs in this series as a whole, which is that that they have no real stakes. On a chapter by chapter or episode by episode basis, they're not really very exciting because at the end of the day, you know everybody's going to be fine. And it's not like they'll never be able to take the exam again. If it was something like you get one shot and if you fail and you're done, you can never become a hero, that could work. But they're basically like, no, you can just try again next year. So nothing really happens if they fail that will negatively affect the character as a person. The in-universe consequences to failing this exam are so minor, there's no real tension for me. And I feel very similarly about the sports festival arc. While I think it's a great arc, I do feel the lack of stakes does hurt its value because there isn't really any tension and there's no consequences to the character losing. Hell, Deku loses in the arc and nothing happens. In fact, he gets told that he can try again next year. Don't get me wrong, the fourth festival arc is fantastic, and I love all the fights. I think Ochako vs. Bakugo was great. Deku vs. Toradoki is fantastic, especially in the anime. The animation is godly. I love it. It's so damn good. But in between all those great moments in these arcs, they're just kind of bland. Because at the end of the day, we as an audience know nobody's going to get hurt or die or be seriously injured. We know it's just going to end at worst with a character failing. Now I think it would work a lot better if it was something like you fail once you're done. So it was like Deku's dream is over if he doesn't pass. But we find out later on there's another way to get your provisionary license if you fail the test. And you can literally take that other test immediately after. You can study for a couple weeks and just take it. It's not even like the fourth festival where it's a year later and you have to wait. You can just take it almost immediately. Toradoki and Bakugo are on their way to getting their licenses almost immediately after this arc ends. They're already studying and getting ready for their test. I think these arcs just lack consequences. There isn't really a major consequence to losing. People like to compare the tuning exams arc to the fourth festival arc. And I just want to bring up the fact that there were two times in the tuning exams arc where they basically made it a you lose here, you're done situation. The first time was during the end of the written exam, when it was established that apparently if you failed the written exam, you were banned from taking the tuning exam ever again. Was that a lie? Yes, but it did introduce consequences for that arc. Then in the forest of death, 
There were no teachers there. While killing was discouraged and the people in charge of the villages didn't really want you killing people, it still happened. Gara killed multiple people, the sound ninja tried to kill Sakura, and Uchimaru nearly killed Naruto and Sakura. While the tuning is end was very similar in the sense that it was a test given to children that was very much like what we got in the fourth festival or the provisional license of Amarx, the tuning is end had a real threat and there were even points where the characters' lives were in danger. Something Hiroaka just doesn't have in these arcs, and I do think it makes this slightly boring. I think My Hero Academia is at its best when it's examining what it means to be a hero, and taking a look at hero society, and having the heroes and the villains fight each other, because they all have interesting and different ideologies. The villains also pose a real serious threat of danger to our characters, both pro heroes and students, because as villains and the antagonists of the story, we know they're more than willing to kill our heroes. Once again, I don't think either the hero like the Zam arc or the fourth festival arc are bad stories or bad arcs. I don't have any like narrative issues with them or their characters or anything they introduce into the series, but I just don't find them interesting and I find myself having a hard time caring because of the lack of consequences to the characters failing to succeed. I do think the fourth festival is better than the hero likes in the Kazam arc, because I think Horikoshi did a very good job at putting a lot of emotion into a lot of those fights. More specifically, I would say Bakugo vs. Ochako and Deku vs. Toradoki, which I think are some of the best fights in the series, behind things like Deku vs. Muscular, and of course, All Might vs. All for One. But yeah, I'm not saying these arcs are bad, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with them, I'm just saying due to the lack of in-universe consequences to the characters failing, I just don't find myself that invested in them, and I'm much more looking forward to things like the Baku vs. Deku fight that we're going to be getting after the Hero License Exam arc, and of course, the Overhaul arc, which we'll be getting next season, because I'm a big fan of this arc so far. I'm on chapter like 146, I believe, and I'm very excited to finish it up. I know a little bit about what happened with Deku and Eri, and I'm really excited. But guys, tell me what you think of the Hero License Exam arc in the comment section down below. You can also leave any video requests that you have in the comment section down below. They can be anime, manga, or superhero comics, or movies. If you liked the video, please leave it a like. If you want more anime content like this, that's what you'll find mainly on this channel, so you can subscribe for that. And above all else, guys, have a great day. This is Nerd King 101 signing out.